So Miss Cochran is planning a year-end pizza party for her students. Ace Pizza offers free delivery and charges eight dollars per medium pizza. Ooh, this is my pizza. So and this this is this. You guys really enjoyed last lesson with the conversion stuff. You'll really enjoy this one. So you'll notice here it's eight dollars for one pizza. So how much would it cost for two? Sixteen. Sixteen. What about three? Twenty-four. What about four? Thirty-eight. Thirty-two. Sorry. What about five pizzas. Forty. Forty. That is amazing. All right. So the main idea here with uh, today's lesson is that we want to know if this table will give us a proportional relationship. Okay. Proportional. Okay. Well, to do that, all we've got to do is look at these uh, values in this table, and we're going to make these fractions, okay? So, 8 over 1. Whoops. What's 8 divided by 1? 8. Oh, that's rough, right? 8 yeah, divided by 1 so is 8. High. Well, that equals 8. What's 16? So, I'm just making these fractions. What's 16 divided by 2? 8. Are they equal? All of them are, are they equal? Yes. yes. They are. <laughs> 24 divided by 3? 8. Eight. 8. Are those equal? Yes. 32 divided eight. by 4? Are those equal? I know the next one is 40 divided by 5? It's going to be 8. Is that equal? Eight. Yes, yeah. it is. If those, okay, now again, we're making these fractions. If they are equal indeed, then it is proportional. It's proportional, okay? So this is the main idea behind today's lesson. We just want to know by looking at a table if it's proportional. So let's look at another example. Okay. So this is a table, and we're going to make this one vertical, because vertical ones actually are a little bit easier to read. And we're going to compare, I don't know, unicorns to leprechauns. Okay. Uh, and let's say that uh, uh, if we have two unicorns, then we have, I don't know, Nine. Um, do Eight. Four. No, let's Eight. do twenty-two leprechauns. 22 okay. leprechauns. Well, if I have four unicorns, I got forty-four four leprechauns, and if I've got five unicorns and fifty-five leprechauns, well, yes. Oh, the, the problem, the reason why there's so many more leprechauns than unicorns is because the leprechauns eat the unicorns. <laughs> it's kind of like cows are to us. They grow them, they eat them, but they have they leave a few. They grow cows. There's, yeah, like they plant them in the seed in the ground, and the unicorn grows. Okay. I'm not sure this will my life. And finally, if you have 11 unicorns, then you'd have uh, 121 leprechauns, okay? So you're just timesing them all by 11? Well, I don't know. Let's find out, okay? All right. Well, let's look. So again, we're just dividing these. So 2 divided by 22. 11. No, it's not 11. It's 111, okay? 2 divided by 22. All right. 4 divided by 44. 111. Yeah, 111, okay. So all these are going to equal 111, as it turns out. So would this be proportional? Yes. Ma'am. So we would say this one is proportional. Right, yeah. Most, most people have experienced this proportional stuff before, and it changed their life. Okay, so let's look at this next example. And let's say that uh, maybe you're renting, I don't know, some kind of, yeah, one of those uh, bouncy houses. Bouncy house, good. And you're going to pay some number of, well, you're going to, depending on the number of hours, you're going to pay some number of dollars, right? So let's say after, uh, I don't know, after two hours, you're going to pay 25 bucks, okay? So three hours is going to pay thirty bucks, and so uh, five hours is going to cost you forty, and eight was going to cost you fifty-five. Okay. Well, let's find out if it's proportional. So two divided by twenty-five, I don't know, two twenty-fifths. Okay. Three divided by thirty is well simplified. It would be it's three over thirty, so one tenth. Now let's look at these. Is one tenth equal to two twenty fifths? No. no, it is not. So in this case, we are going to, have to say that this one is not proportional. Okay. Uh, 
I don't know, whatever. Okay. <laughs> so notice in this exam in this one, this pizza one, it did pizza. it said, right? So all of these fractions, if we reduce them down, they equal eight. Okay, because it's eight dollars for every pizza. Now on word problems, you may have a few of these, but they'll, they'll still give you a table, okay? But in a word problem, you're going to be looking for something like a fee, any type of fee or fo or fum, okay? Then you would know that it is not proportional because it's going to start out with some kind of fee, all right? Registration fee, rental fee, uh, complaining fee, you know, one of those, all right? <laughs> so... But, uh, yeah, it's just a matter of all the ratios being equal in the table. <coughs> and this is just saying that all the ratios, if we make them fractions, in other words, they have to be equal. Well, uh-oh. Okay, so on Saturday, Querida uh, gave away 416 coupons for a free appetizer at a local restaurant. The next day, she gave away about 52 coupons every hour. All right? So based on this, 52 coupons an hour, okay, is this going to be proportional? Yes. Well, let me ask you this. At zero hours, how many, t how many coupons no, did she give away? There was no fee or phone. Or That's correct. Okay. Very good. At zero hours, how many coupons did she give away? Uh, zero. zero. Okay. That alone will tell you that it is proportional, okay? So, for example, some of you know with taxi cabs, perhaps, once you hop in a taxi cab, charged, just, just to jump in. You don't even have to go anywhere. They're going to charge you 2 bucks or 15 depending on where you are. Uh, so, that would be a fee, and then they'll charge you every mile, okay? So, it's like comparing things? Yeah, hey, well, it's a comparison of things. But if you start with an, a value that's other than zero, it's not proportional anymore. All right. Let me finish this one. So is the number of coupons she gave away proportional? Well, let's find out. After one hour, how many coupons did she give away? 52. 52. What about after two hours? Three hours. 156. Four? 200. I don't know. Very good. So is it proportional? Well, let's turn these into fractions and then divide these and see what we get. Okay. So 1 divided by 52 is 1 over 52. What's uh, 2 over 104? 1 over 52. What's 3 divided by 156? 1 over 52. What's 4 divided by 208? 152. Are these all equal? Yes. yes, they be, so this is proportional. Uh, this next question is worded very weirdly. We did it a little bit different in first period, but this is apparently what they want. So if she sold 416 coupons over on Saturday, uh, then she sold another 52 coupons on Sunday. Uh, then over the weekend, she gave away 52 plus the 416, correct? So that would be 400... And 68 coupons. After two hours, well, another hour, she gave away another 52. So that's a 5, a 1, a 6, and a 5. Okay. Well, then she gave away another 52. So it's a, a 2, and a 1, and a 6. All right. Then she gave away another 52. So it's a 4, and a 6, and a 6. Okay. Is this proportional? Well, 1 over 468 is just 1 over 468. What about 2 over 560? Well, that's going to give you 1 over uh, 280. Okay? Is this equal to this? No. No, it are not, so this one would be not proportional. All right, so there you go. All right, at Lakeview Middle School, there are two homeroom teachers assigned to every 48 students. Is the number of students at this school proportional to the number of teachers? 
Well, to explain our reasoning, let's just make a table. All right. So I'm going to find a few values. So you've got uh, students, you've got teachers. Okay. So if, uh, if I have two teachers, how many students is there? 48. What if I have four teachers? 96. Just on A. What if I have six teachers? I should have a 4, a 10, a 15. Okay. Is this proportional? Well, let's divide. 48 divided by 2 is 24. 96 divided by 4 is 24. 154 divided by 6 is 24. So this one, as it turns out, is proportional. All right, at the beginning of the school year, Isabel had 120 bucks in the bank. Each week, she deposits another 20 bucks. Is her account balance proportional to the number of weeks of deposits? Use the table below. Okay, so there's not a fee or anything like that on this one, but is there a starting value? Yeah, so is this one proportional? No, it is not. Let's look at the table just to make sure, okay? So if she has 120 bucks, after one week she deposits 20. So how much does she have in the account? 140. All right, good, 140. After two weeks, well, she put in another 20 bucks, so that's 60. And then she put in another 20 bucks. After three weeks, 180. So if you look at this, one over 140 is one over 140. Two over 160 is one over 80. Are these equal? Nope, they are not. So this one, as it turns out, is not proportional. Uh, so the Vista Marina rents both for 25 bucks an hour. Uh-oh, in addition to the rental fee, there is a $12 charge to fuel. Is this proportional? Is it proportional? No, it is not. Okay. Let's use one, two, and three hours, okay? So for one hour, it's going to charge me the $25 an hour plus the $12 fuel charge. So I got 12 plus 25. And give me 37, right? So after another hour, it's going to charge me another 25 smackers. So that's a 62. So after another hour, they're going to charge me another 25 bucks. 87. Which situation represents a proportional relationship? Well, what's 12 divided by 1? 12. What's 20 divided by 2? 10. 10. Is 12 equal to 10? No. No, this one's not proportional. Let's look and check the other one. What's 12 divided by 1? 12. 24 divided by 2? 12. 36 divided by 3? 12. So that one's proportional. And so we could, we could write no on this one. How far behind are we from the other classes? So there's a thesis. There you go. So Jane's earnings was proportional. Nope, don't start on the homework.